sum up a 29 point law. Bad. That was a bad game. Um, tough night, tough afternoon, rather. Um, and it pretty much came down to the end of the second quarter. There was a four minute stretch where they won a 16 3 run. And essentially, that was the game. Coming out of third, you know, we didn't respond as well as we should have and just got, got away from us. Three point defense has, has been a relative strength for you guys all year to give up 19 season high. Yeah. Uh, what was different today? Uh, just I think the overall awareness to, and urgency to get to those shooters. Um, to Tatum's credit, he had a night. And, you know, I think you, you know, see 51 points is it's a real number. But uh, I think he was six for eight on pull up threes, which are tough shots. Uh, no excuse, he's been struggling, but he found his rhythm tonight and we just didn't, uh, we didn't make it tough enough. Wes, where were, where were the breakdowns of defending Tatum specifically? Um, I think the biggest thing, there were some decent possessions one-on-one. -on -one. He got it going, so we tried to hit him with the ball out of his hands. Um, and, and then even when we tried to blitz, we weren't in the, in the proper position, you know, to keep, keep him from splitting us, turning the corner. Um, you know, the blitz wasn't impactful. Is that a, these guys have guarded him before, obviously it's not unnecessarily an unfamiliarity with his tendencies, is that breakdown in communication or have you kind of gotten into that yet? Um, I don't think it was overall communication, maybe position, body position, mm -hmm. uh, technique, um, just overall awareness at times uh, where, you know, maybe two, two or three guys are on the same page and the other two, you know, aren't. So it's, uh, you know, there, there is a communication dynamic, but just reading the body position, you see a guy at a certain level, you should understand where your protection spots are. Um, but we, we just have to do a better job of getting the ball out of his hands or a guy like that when he gets a game going. Um, you don't usually necessarily take that long after a game. What was the message for the locker room? Um, you know, just obviously our, uh, the result wasn't what we desired, uh, but no one's feeling sorry for us. So, you know, whether we want to pout and feel feel bad and mope, or we can respond and, uh, you know, change it ourselves. I mean, that's kind of the, my mindset. That was the messaging. Um, you know, this these type of games happen. You know, sadly, it's, uh, this one is tough because, you know, we're all kind of bunched in, in the same grouping, you know, as far as records. So these games, you know, almost multiply in effect. And, uh, to stay ahead of teams and, you know, keep ourselves relevant, we have to come away with these type games at home. Yes, we, we understand all the consider organizational considerations that require you to play 11 men right now in the rotation, but given that there are only 36 games, 35 games left, do, does the organization have to shorten the rotation? Thanks. Shorten the rotation earlier than it is. Thanks initially planned no i think this was all kind of uh part of the plan we knew we had to get two key guys back and reintegrated you know at a difficult point or juncture in the season um so that kind of led to you know what we've been doing in the last two weeks or so um but you know there's no you know mandate that we have to play 11 or 12 it was just try to find ways to get these guys going keeping in mind the, the medical limitations um, and when, if and when we're able to get past those thresholds, then myself, the staff will, will make that decision you know, as we see fit. In a similar vein, um, why'd you go away from both Trez and Gafford to the extent? Well, I mean, when we were down big, it was, you know, we thought it was valuable minutes for, for TB. Um, I threw AG out there for a few, knowing the TB had a limit. Um, Tried Rui at five, you know, it's something we talked about and wanted to see. Uh, at that point, it was, you know, game was pretty much out of hand. So uh, let's take a look at some things and we can see how it worked. Uh, I think he's, you know, gotten progressively better. Um, he looks more comfortable. Uh, he's starting to pick some of the things up, you know, offensively. You know, it's tough. We moved him to five tonight, so he was kind of a little bit disjointed. But overall, I've been pleased with where he's, you know, where he's been and how he's developed. Um, so I, I, you know, I like where he is defensively. He's done, you know, some good things switching. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to see how he uh, 
how we look going forward. That's when Denny's speech, I don't know what part of his life. Yeah, he took a news of five. Will there be any follow up? I'm not sure. Yeah, he came back. I mean, they, they took him in the back and wrapped it, you know, took a quick look at it. There didn't seem to be anything substantial. It's probably going to be a little stiff tomorrow, but I can't imagine it being uh, something that would sideline him. Neil. Hey, Coach, kind of just going off of Ava's question, is it more of a elongated discussion in the locker room after a kind of game like this? Uh, no, it wasn't. It was a long, elongated discussion amongst me and my staff, uh, but not the, not the players, no. Christos? Hey, Coach, hope you're doing well. Uh, from your perspective and after what you see on the floor tonight, what kind of shakeup this team needs to be back on the winning column and get better on both ends of the floor? I just think the biggest thing is the urgency. We've talked about that at length. Um, and it sounds really simplistic, but, you know, the urgency to get to those shooters, urgency to be in the right spot, our urgency to communicate early. Um, you know, our overall energy and approach, you know, that seems to wax and wane at times. And we have to get away from that. If we're going to sustain at a certain level. There has to be, uh, you know, an urgency to do that. And I'm not sure where that's, you know, where the dis disconnect is. I think we all understand that. We just have yet to uh, um, completely get, get to that point and do it, uh, do it every night. How do you sum up a, a loss like that, 29 points? Uh, first person in the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, it's embarrassing, honestly. It's, uh, it's probably the one and only word I have for it. What, what was different um, for your guys' three-point defense? That's been a strength all year, and you guys gave up the season high 19 threes. Uh, I mean, we just – you can't just – half ass contest, you know, we got to run guys off the line like we've been doing. And, uh, you know, they haven't necessarily shot the ball well either. And we kind of just let them, especially Jason, we just let him, he was just getting practice warm up shots all night. He got whatever he wanted, whenever he wanted. And we didn't make anything difficult for them. Like they were able to get two feet in the paint, get their threes, open threes, open looks. Um, there's no sense of urgency, it seemed like, from us on the defensive end. What was it like post game in the locker room after a loss like this? Very quiet. I mean, you can, I mean, I'm sure you can imagine. Uh, nobody's happy about it. Nobody's, um, you know, nobody's proud of how they play. You know, we all feel like we could be better and we, we know we're better than that. Uh, but it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't positive. It wasn't like, you know, nobody's happy. You know, that's, that's how I'll leave it at that. How do you kind of process this game coming in the same week where you have a game like you did against the Nets? It's tough, man, because we seem like we take one or two steps forward and five back, you know. Um, we, and we we can't we can't do that, you know. We, we have to understand every game is important, especially at this point. You know, last few before break, you know, teams that kind of makes or break teams. You know, teams either decide that they're going to go on a run, you know, and be really good and talented. You know, make that push for you know for the playoffs, or you know they kind of start throwing them back and tanking a little bit, and not really focused on winning. You know, and I don't want to be in that position, and I damn sure hope that's not our attitude. You know, these last these next couple, you know, before All Star break, um, I think that's just a that's just the frustrating part. You know, understand our opponent. You know, Boston hasn't they were under us tonight. You know, in the seedings they weren't playing well, they weren't just, they weren't gelling well. Um, and we should have took advantage of that. We should have came out aggressive and hit them first. We allowed them to get comfortable, find their rhythm, and they just took off. What's it been like being in the rotation at this moment in time where there's so many guys that Wes is trying to play and three centers and just all the, the changes that we see from night to night? Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, it's just, it's no surprise, you know, we all, uh, see and understand what we're trying to do and, you know, what we're putting on the floor. And it's just, it is tough, you know, from everybody's standpoint, my standpoint, other guys, you know, who are in that position of whether or not they play this game, play the next game, 
don't play this game, play a few minutes here, here and there, it's tough. I mean, it's because when you, you try to figure out the rhythm of the team, try to figure out the rhythm of, you know, that player, if they have a rhythm, uh, it's, it's tough. You know, I understand it from all sides, you know, the business side of the player's perspective, coach's perspective, it's, it's not an easy decision. You know, I'll be, I'll be lying if I sat here and said it was easy on, on anybody's behalf. It's not easy. Um, you know, I think that's just where professionalism comes in and, um, you know, just control what you can control and just, you know, be a true sport about it. But uh, I'd be lying if I said it's easy. You know, it's, it's definitely a, it's a task, but, you know, it's, 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 it's doable, I would say. Yeah, I mean, it's tough because <laughs> we're trying to see TB, you know, and TB is a huge part of our team and our success. And TB had an unfortunate injury, and now he's back, and we want to see him play. You know, the organization wants to see him play. It's the last year in this deal. Like, I get all of that, you know. Uh, Gaff did nothing wrong. You know, I think that's probably the frustrating part on his behalf is that he feels like maybe he did something wrong. He didn't do anything wrong. Uh, it's just kind of, you know, how the game goes, you know, sometimes. But uh, in my, when I'm in those positions, you know, I definitely, I definitely have to, you know, the leadership skills have to come out, you know, encouraging guys, um, you know, giving them the big picture in a way and uh, kind of motivating them and pushing them, you know, that when your opportunity does come, when you're in practice, or you're working out, you know, just, you know, take full advantage of it, you know, showcase what you're able to do and why you should be playing, why you deserve minutes, you know, or go up to coach after practice, after games. And he's, uh, he's always straightforward. He has an open door policy. Uh, but I understand the frustrations for sure, you know, but, you know, as a, as a vet, I definitely try to try to minimize those, those emotions, you know, stay focused on the team. What's the, what's the, what's the most important thing that's us winning, you know, how, how can we do that? How can we all contribute to that? Christos. Hey, Brad, hope you're doing well. Coach uh, mentioned before the urgency, you mentioned before the sense of urgency. What you need to do as a team to bring that urgency on, uh, on your game, especially on the defensive end? Uh, I mean, it's tough. You can't really teach it. I mean, it's, it's, it's a matter of will. Do you want to do it or you don't? You know, either you go hard and you want to compete or tell off and defend, you know, and help your teammate or you don't, you know, it's not, there's nothing we can really practice or work on that's going to, you know, say, oh, this, this is going to make you play better or do it harder. Like, no, it, it doesn't. That comes from within, you know, we all got to pull that with, you know, look at each other in the mirror and look at ourselves and, and be better. You know, we all have to be better. We all have to contribute more than what we're doing. We have to help, help the man next to us more than what we're doing. Um, and, you know, nobody can teach that, you know, there's nothing, there's nothing you can draw up for that. There's nothing you can teach for that. Uh, you know, it's just to have a world to win. Period. Thank you very much. Last question, Brianna. Hey, Brad. So, of course, the game didn't end how you wanted it to, but how was it starting off the game with your sons introducing you? <laughs> that was... <laughs> I would definitely made my day for sure. Uh, that was super awesome to see everybody's kids uh, up on the jumbotron and announcing their names. And my boys, they they are my why. You know, they they definitely enlighten me and push me um, every single night. Every time I step on the floor, so it was awesome to be able to see them. You know, they did a really good job too. So maybe it's the future for them in, in that space. Always say um, that you just kind of go out and do what you have to do. And but in terms of when you're playing 11 guys and minutes are coming kind of sporadically, how do you go about managing, taking advantage of your time on court? When I go on the court, for me and my head, it doesn't matter when. It doesn't matter if it's a 20 minutes out. It doesn't matter if it's a 30 minutes out. If, if I have a task, if coach wants me to do something, if I need to do something for the team, and bring energy, play defense, play offense, whatever they need, um, I'll do it. So sometimes, of course, minutes goes, uh, comes and goes, but I'm ready at all times. And I'm doing what the team needs me to do and doing my job and, and just playing hard, not thinking about it too much. What happened to you? 
Wes said you took a knee to the thigh. I took I took a knee to the thigh, and um, yeah, it, it uh, it's the kind of injuries that it's it's kind of frustrated because it's frustrating because it's like it's not that bad. Like you know, it's not you're not out, but it's annoying. Like it sits there, but um, you know, I played through it, so uh, made a three with it. So maybe uh, I don't know, it was good for me. I think we did it before. I think we lost to teams by a lot of points before. I don't think that affects us. I think everybody's confident in his um, game and we know what we're capable of and we should do better. Uh, we always learn from our mistakes and we come better so it's not the first time it's going to happen and we just need to keep our head straight and um, go through it you know what, what's it like at this level when you are playing against a guy like tatum who gets into a groove the mm -hmm. way that he did tonight just trying to shut his water off and defend him being aggressive with him uh, maybe change some coverages here and there but when a guy is getting hard like that like to be honest with you there's nothing much you can do he took tough shots. He made tough shots. Got fouled. Went to the line. Um, nothing that I can say more than that. Yeah. Hey, Denny. I'm just curious. You know, what is the sense with the team about? You guys have talked a lot about. You know, we need more urgency, but. You know, seemingly it's not translating to the court. Why do you think that is? Um, I don't have an answer for you. Or, um, to be honest with you, uh, I think we're preparing as best as we can for every game and take every game seriously. Some 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 games we're playing a little bit bad, and sometimes we're playing good. And it's part of basketball. It's part of sport. Um, just need to stay focused.